All right, let's make this official. How about a good morning from everyone? Good morning. Well, let's try that one more time. We had a spirituality and health event here this weekend, and they had more, more, uh, more, more behind their good morning. So good morning, everyone. All right, we're awake. So welcome to the Center for Total Health. We're happy to have you here today. Uh, mental health is an important topic to us and one of the topics that we host in our space. Uh, not frequent enough, so we're happy to have your group here today. And this is a very important topic to us, so I'm anxious to hear a lot about the discussion. Uh, the center has been open now for about six years. I, I've seen some familiar faces in the room, so welcome back. If you haven't been here before, please take a tour. I was able to tour a few people before the, the event started this morning, but all the exhibits, even this wall behind you, are inter interactive, and I'm happy to uh, talk more about the various content uh, that you will find within uh, the center here. So we are the Center for Total Health. We focus on your total health, the broader picture of health here in this space and so there's lots of topics that ladder up to your total health and we're happy to talk to you more about that so some housekeeping rules or just some things to keep in mind as our guests uh, I hope you've all silenced your phones or put them on stun um, so we don't want that to interrupt uh, the great discussion that will take place today uh, if you haven't found your way to the bathrooms yet, you can go either way around what we call the boxcar here in the middle. Uh, the, hall, uh, the hallway to the back is pretty much in the middle here, um, and you'll find the restrooms just outside the door. Along the same lines, for your safety, we always want you to know where the nearest exits are. Um, many of you came in the front exit, but out the back to the bathrooms is another exit uh, that goes out to our garage and outside. And then immediately behind me is another conference room that we've just kind of blocked off with the drape, but that's another exit should we have to exit because of a fire drill or something like that. So just want you to be familiar with the space. Also, if you need to get on Wi-Fi, uh, we have free Wi-Fi here, so uh, if you're looking to log on and uh, check emails or whatever during a break, um, all you have to do is open up a browser window, our uh, screen should pop up, and you just have to accept our terms and you'll be right on the internet and uh, on your way. Uh, some other just points to make about the facility, you will see cameras all around you today. So uh, we will be videotaping and taking photographs. If you're not comfortable with that for whatever reason, just let the photographers or videographers know and they will be happy to make sure your back is turned or whatever as they take pictures. But uh, this is a great conversation and we want to welcome you all to our space. Um, as you tour our space, I also just want to call out we have a special exhibit that we've installed. Thank you to Mental Health America. Uh, our bus stop is a space we like to customize depending upon the events that take place here. So we've installed some of their information in our bus stop exhibit. And we're always looking for partners on this very important topic. So if you would like to uh, become a part of our space, we're always looking for partners for that content here in our space. So without further ado, I'm going to turn it over to Tony Beretta. Uh, to get the meeting started. Thanks, Keith. And I, um, I just want to welcome all of you here to the Center for Total Health, along with Keith. The team here is fantastic. And um, whenever we in the public policy space within Kaiser Permanente have um, events, it's a tremendous benefit to have this center where we can bring people together. Uh, about, um, it was in 2011, our, our Prior uh, CEO, George Halverson, had um, envisioned a center in Washington where we could, um, in his words, bring people together for conversations about health. Um, and, th you know, ever since then, it's been a very interesting time in public policy and health care. And we've had a large number of events here focusing on issues around health, centered around health reform um, and related, related issues. Um, a couple of years ago, um, Bernard Tyson, our current CEO, challenged those of us in the government relations and health policy space uh, to think about what issues could we bring Kaiser Permanente to in a new and different way where we might be able to make progress, at least put our shoulder behind the wheel that a lot of other people have been working on for a long time to try to add momentum to some areas that aren't just naturally going to happen over time. Um, and so we've we developed a, a strategy a few years ago, um, which includes forums like this one, um, where we would 
bring some of Kaiser Permanente's resources and expertise and ask others with even more, with, with even more expertise to come in um, and talk to us. And, and the issues that we'd identified a few years ago to do that were around prescription drug pricing. Um, unsurprising to hear that that's something. We hear a lot about it. Um, also, I'm not so sure that we need to be pushing that issue since many of the uh, activities within the pharmaceutical industry make discussion of that somewhat self-executing on the front page of the newspaper all the time. Um, another area of interest that we were hoping to create some progress um, was in the area of telehealth, where there's radical transformation of how healthcare services are being provided, um, and yet public policy is not really keeping pace in some respects, um, inhibiting the development of some of those services and simply creating a little bit of complexity um, over time, and so we've been focusing on that. But the one that I'm most excited about has been identifying mental health and wellness. What can we do to advance mental health and wellness as a matter of public policy? I've been concerned over the years um, that there has been, and, and this is largely because of the issues where we as an organization have been challenged to improve our mental health services. Um, and I can tell you an enormous amount of effort has gone in to um, improving access and improving the models of care within our organization. I have also, um, over the years, participated um, in other organizations. For nine years, I was on the board of the East Bay Agency for Children in the East Bay of um, the San Francisco Bay Area, um, which is essentially a mental health care provider, um, social workers providing social services to kids with mental health needs in the Alameda County Schools. And what was very clear to me working um, in that area was it's really on a shoestring. It's, it's really remarkable um, both how few providers there are um, to meet the needs that for young people in the schools who are, ch who are facing all kinds of challenges all of the time. Um, and there are programs um, that exist to take care of those kids. Many of them are tied up in complex public policy driven um, restraints. Um, one of the most interesting um, conversations I had recently over coffee a couple of weeks ago with their CEO was a program I wasn't aware of where Kaiser Permanente has funded a social worker in one of the schools, in one of the middle schools in um, Oakland, um, to simply have a free floating social worker who's there to support the teachers in the school figure out how to have a more coherent experience for all the kids in the classrooms. Not somebody who's funded by Medi-Cal. You know, it's not, you know, those rules don't apply because if EBAC were to get paid, they would have to um, have the social worker meeting with the kids, working them up, doing all the things that need to be done. But the notion that there's not enough flexibility in terms of how we, we approach these things, how we can get upstream to take care of folks, um, and provide the resources that are necessary to do what are just logical things, um, there's plenty of opportunity for us. Um, so I'm really pleased that we have pulled together um, an extraordinary group of people today. Um, it, you know, all of you spend a lot more time, many of you spend a lot more time on this subject um, than, than either I do or our team has in the past. But it's clear that mental health and wellness is the one area within our organization that people are the most excited about, the most excited about the opportunities there are moving forward to improve the quality of care and access to care, and most excited about and, and feeling deep down that we're all very close. We, we see it every day. We either experience it personally, we see it in our families, and we see it in our friends around us. Just the incredibly, incredible depth of need that exists and a fundamental disconnect with the services that are available. Whether we want to talk about payment policy or whether we want to talk about um, workforce policy, there's a, a bunch of things that, that we can talk about. But I think the thing that we can do most usefully here, and one of the reasons that we wanted to pull a group like this together, is to really ask ourselves, what are the right questions we should be asking ourselves as we examine what's in front of us? I know I have my own preferred solutions to the various problems that I see in front of my face. Um, I know all of us have our own experiences who are interested in this space. But fundamentally, we need to start with 
and, and this is true for Kaiser Permanente. We're still in the early stages of this conversation. Many other folks and other organizations are more developed in terms of their thinking in this space. But it can never hurt to ask ourselves, are we asking ourselves the right questions? Are we focusing in the right spaces? And how can we pull people together to work together to try to improve things in this space? So that's the tone I hope we, we, set, for, we set for today. Um, before we move into the agenda, I would like to um, ask my colleague, um, Ceci Echevarria, to come up. She is going to show us some interesting things that have to do with polling or something like that. So Ceci, do you want to? <laughs> yes, thank you. Yeah, that was great. Um, so today we'd like to start off the day with um, a poll. If you look at the center of your table, one of the table tents has instructions on our polling um, exercise today. So we have two questions to kick off our time with you. You will need a, your phone or a laptop. And this is as straightforward as uh, sending a text message. So if you follow those instructions, um, we should be able to get you up and running with our first polling question in a second. Raise your hand when you feel like you've, uh, you're ready to go for the poll. Great. Great. Excellent. OK, good. All right, so why don't we go to our first question? So we want to find out a little bit more about who's in the room today. Um, so why don't we have you answer, um, what sector do you, um, do you work in? So you can see um, A is government, B, advocacy, C, healthcare, D, think tank, E, philanthropy, or F for other. So if folks want to take a second and um, submit their responses. Great. Still, still going? Great, we have quite a few others in the room. Can I have folks, anyone that, that um, checked other, um, share with us where you're from, what sector? Anybody check other? Yes. Uh, Charlie Brooks, OK, great. Thank you, Charlie. Others? Yes? OK, great. Thank you. Any others? Great, well thank you all for joining us. So let's um, turn to our next question, which is basically, um, we wanna know what you hope to learn um, during our forum today. So um, we're hoping that you'll list sp specific topics that you'd like to see covered. So you can enter a word. Um, oh, I see there's still responses for the last one coming in. Um, but go ahead and type a word. Um, again, something that you're interested in learning today, um, something that you're hoping we'll cover. Um, and those should start to appear on the screen as well. So I see policy priorities, integration, school mental health, Excellent. Access to care. Teen suicide. Workforce. Advocacy agenda. Community focused health. Equity and access. Policy. Policy ideas. Great. Solutions. Collaboration between competitors. That's a good one. 
integration approaches. Great. Thank you. Last few responses, payment policy, children's behavioral health, opioids. Great. Workforce again. Well, thank you everybody for participating in the poll. We're hoping to come back to some of these um, at the end of the day and just see how well we did in addressing them. A few others are coming in, but we'll go back at the end of the day. Thank you. Thanks, Tony.